Creating the perfect desk setup for productivity requires a clean and efficient space. These 10 desk accessories have all helped me create my most productive minimalist desk setup yet. When I had originally purchased the Otostar vacuum, I had assumed it would only be beneficial to clean my keyboard. For me, I cannot stand the nasty that builds up from snacks at my desk and just honestly being a human. But the vacuum ended up being great for cleaning up my entire desk surface including the felt mat that I use in my home office setup. If your setup is like mine, I would definitely consider this vacuum to help keep yours looking top notch. If you use a standing desk for your setup or just have a minimal desk shell with little to no storage, having a spot to stash your pens, pencils, SD cards, or any other small gadgets can be a huge boost to keeping your desk looking clean. The swivel pencil drawer is an inexpensive desk accessory that really helped me clean up the little extras on my desk surface. The swivel drawer mounts quickly to the underside of your desk and it's super easy to rotate open and closed. Now in the past, I've kept my pens and other items in little dishes or holders on the top of the desk, but honestly, I've never really loved how it's looked. Now if you're like me, keeping the underside of your desk clean and organized is just as important as the top. In the past, I've had major issues with my cable management. The Ultimate Cable Management Box is the best solution I've found if you have a ton of cables routed underneath your desk. This includes things like power strips and bulky power blocks. The Form Steel Cable Box includes grommet pass-throughs to easily route your wires and a large back panel to access cables quickly and efficiently. One of the most commonly used accessories for desk setup these days seems to be desk pads. Because I personally use the New Heights S-Series desk for my home office setup, a desk pad is almost required to keep the natural wood surface in perfect condition. Now, depending on the durability of your surface, adding a desk pad like the Delta Hub pad that I'm using at home can help protect your desk surface from scratches too. While the smaller desk pad that I'm currently use can feel a bit cramped at times, the larger pads I've tried in the past just cover too much of my desk surface and hide the beauty of the wood. You might not ever think about this upgrade for your office chair, but rollerblade wheels have slowly crept up to become a really popular add-on to replace the classic office chair wheels. For me, I've always been on the fence about this, but eventually I ended up caving into the benefits of a rollerblade wheel. First, they just look better than a traditional caster, and I'm always trying to level up my desk setup's aesthetics. Secondly, they roll around on low pile carpet and rugs better than the cheap plastic casters I've used in the past, and they're also safer to use on hard surfaces like tile or wood. If you haven't experienced the benefits of a monitor arm for your desk setup, this is an absolute must try. I personally use the Hover brand for my setup at home and in the office. The aluminum construction of the Hover brand makes them quite a bit more expensive than the cheaper options I've reviewed on Amazon, but the quality and flexibility make it worth it for me. Since I'm always switching up my setup, trying different monitor positioning, and just repositioning things on my desk overall, I needed something that was easily expandable to accommodate all of these changes. With the hover line, you're able to easily add extension arms or remove them depending on how you're trying to use your monitors. The hover arms also come with built-in cable management that's super easy to use. If you've never had the chance to use a monitor light bar, this is one desk accessory that I honestly cannot live without. Having good overhead lighting and the perfect ambient lighting behind your monitor is important, but getting ample light to the exact right place on your desk surface is equally important. I've found that the BenQ with wireless puck is my absolute favorite right now. The wireless puck makes adjustments super easy and limits the opportunity of shifting the light bar around on my monitor. The Xiaomi light bar that I use at home also features a puck, but I've found that the light bleed on the monitor is quite a bit worse than the BenQ products I've tested in the past. If you're not currently using a footrest at your desk, I think you're definitely missing out. Now, in the past, I've almost exclusively used the Pogo aluminum footrest with a unique teardrop shape. This has provided the ability for me to rest my feet somewhere during the day, and it also creates an opportunity for some movement with my active feet, flipping it upside down and allowing it to rock back and forth. But the Pogo footrest is hard and cold, so barefoot or with socks, it isn't necessarily ideal at home. The Everlasting Comfort Footrest is a nice alternative for home setups, since it has a similar shape but comes with a soft cover and a squishy internal pad. Now, if you wear shoes, this probably isn't ideal, but if you're at home like me, I'd highly recommend it. For almost 16 years, I've used some of the worst keyboards in mice. When I first switched to the Logitech MX Keys keyboard, I couldn't believe how amazing having a quality keyboard would actually be. 
I love its low profile design and how the keyboard illuminates when my hands hover the keys. Recently, I decided to upgrade my at the office setup with the MX Keys mechanical keyboard to see if that would be a better option. Now, I'm definitely not an expert when it comes to mechanical keyboards, but the MX Keys mechanical keyboard is a better fit for my style than the Keychron K2 mechanical that I've used in the past. Being in the office, having something too loud is definitely distracting, and the MX Keys mechanical is just right for me. Just like the keyboard, the addition of an MX Master 3 mouse has been a game changer for me. So much so that I've upgraded both of my setups from the old Logitech junk I've used in the past. There is a ton of customization with the MX Master mouse that makes my desk setup even more productive. Even if you don't utilize all of the cool features that the MX Master has to offer, the better comfort alone makes it easier to use for longer periods throughout the day. Now, one of my favorite features, though, is the flexibility being easily switched between my work laptop and my home PC. This alone makes the MX Master 3 mouse worth the money, in my opinion, and when paired with their keyboard, I think it's an awesome combination.